Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing another Timu haul, another Christmassy Timu haul, but this is different this time because I actually haven't ordered the stuff from Timu yet. We're going to be doing that part together. So if you didn't know, I'm actually part of Timu's affiliate program. So I get a set amount of money as like a reward for doing content for Timu, like on my YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that. And I have worked up like a certain amount of money, which I think will be a good budget for their new campaign which is Christmas presents so I'm going to be buying a Christmas present for everybody in my family which is four people and a cat and I am including the cat in this cozy kit she is going to be part of the family that I'm buying for here but I'm going to be buying Christmas presents for all of my family using my budget which is 50 pound on Timu so we're going to be doing the shopping part together so it's going to be like a video that's in parts we're going to be doing the shopping part together looking for the gifts and maybe some of my tips that i have for finding gifts for your family or friends and then we'll have the review part where i actually look at the products and see if they're any good and then the third part which i'll do like a christmas wrapping thing because i love wrapping presents so that is not a chore for me and i'll be happy to do it for my youtube channel and then for the last part i'm going to get some of my family's reactions to their presence so i think this is going to be a really fun video i'm really excited to film this one so let's go ahead and have a look on timu for some gifts for my family this christmas let's go So we're on my phone right now and as I mentioned before I have a £50 budget for buying these Christmas presents for my family using Timu and yeah so we're going to go right ahead to the perfect Christmas gift inspiration campaign and I'm going to select my products. So we have the Christmas gift selection here which I'm not going to be choosing from because it's all Christmas themed stuff and I always think that's a bit of a cop out getting people Christmas themed stuff for Christmas like for Christmas day. Like the run up to Christmas like with all the lights and stuff which is what is here like for the Christmas gift selection is like for the run up to Christmas I feel like not after Christmas. Instead we're going to search for some items. So the first person I think I'm going to buy for is my brother Jamie and Jamie's actually quite easy to buy for he used to be quite difficult for me but we actually share a lot of the same interests so this is one of my tips for when you're gift giving and you're most likely if you're buying for a friend or a family you know at least a little bit of what they like even if you just go onto your phone or you just just get a notepad out and just list everything that you know that that person likes and I promise you there will be something on anywhere including Timu that will be surrounding that thing that they like. My brother loves Marvel, he loves Batman, he loves Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, he loves gaming, um, I'm trying to think, uh, he plays guitar, he likes music, so that's a lot of things for me to work with, he's got a lot of interests. So I think we're going to stick with Marvel or Batman and he's really into Batman at the minute so we are going to look for some Batman things. We already have a couple of Batman things here. There's like um, key rings. I also think that's a bit of a cop out gift. It's a bit rubbish. Some jewelry. My brother isn't really into jewelry. And there's some t-shirts. But the thing is, I don't think they go up to his size. Let me check. Oh wait, no, that goes up to a 3XL. But it's not actually Batman that. That is just like a top with bats on which isn't really what I'm looking for. I tell you what I did see earlier that um, Timu do that look quite good. They do like these vinyl clocks which I think look really nice. I wonder if they've got like a Batman one. They do. They do have some Batman ones. Okay th this first one looks really really cool. Okay I like the look of that one so that'll be good. It's like a bit of wall art. Oh there's a guitar one as well. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, oh, with LED. Without LED or with LED? I think we'll go with LED. Oh, it's a bit expensive. Never mind. Okay, so I'm just adding stuff that I like the look of to the basket right now. Oh, there's a Doctor Who one as well. We are currently watching Doctor Who together at the minute. That's quite cool. But I'm not sure. He's he's like He likes Doctor Who, but he's not like a, you know, super into it. Let's put Batman decor. 
Batman decor. Let's see what comes up. There's a shelf. He's always been going on about getting a shelf. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's like a rug, like with Batman on it, but as like the Starry Night. That's so cool. I don't think he'd use that though. I don't think he. I don't think he. He would be totally thrilled with that. He likes guitar. Let's look up guitar things. That's a toy guitar. Oh my god, they do actual guitars on Timu. That's crazy. I'm not gonna get him that though, because I'm on a fifty pound budget. That's a uh, a lot of money <laughs> and it's way over my budget but Jamie if you ever want a guitar and look on Timu. To be honest I'm quite happy with the clocks that I chose here. I'm not really sure which one I like the look of, probably the one that's cheapest which is the Batman one because I don't want to go too over my budget here. I've only got £50 and I've still got people to buy for here so goodbye to the guitar one we're gonna get the batman clock and i think he's gonna like that to be honest so i'm gonna get him that okay so the next person that i'm buying for is going to be my dad and my dad is the most difficult person to buy for in the entire world but let's go back to my tip before and let's just list some things that my dad likes so my dad likes camping he likes 3d printing he does a lot of 3d printing he likes watching um wild camping on youtube so maybe I should stick to the camping theme and see if I can get him something. Let me just put wild camping in and see what comes up. So we've got a portable folding stove. So I know that he's obsessed with stoves, but I don't think that will do it for him. The grid mini stove frame. <laughs> I don't think that's like amazing. Durable 10 in 1 stainless excuse me that's like 99 pence it's like a 10 in one so it does like several things shall i get that it's only 99 pence i'm getting it that's a lot of torches although my dad did say not that long ago that he's happy with like a torch as a gift because he uses them a lot so maybe i'll have a look this one looks good though it's got four modes and it's like a it's like a little it's like a lamp so that's quite nice you know what i might add that to my basket then you know what let's have a look at 3d printing um 30 in one key wrench stick oh that looks uh, i wish i could you know what i'm gonna search that up and see what that is 30 in one key wrench kit which is what we were just looking at trimming knife scraper and 3d print tool okay this is a 3d printing tool what does it do? Mm, I think that actually might be handy, you know. Shall I get it? Even though I don't really understand what I'm looking at right now. I feel like I don't really understand what it is, but it looks helpful. Shall I just get it? Because it looks helpful. You know what? I'm, I'm putting that in my basket. Yeah, £5.47. That's fine. 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 4 one is like 10 so yeah that sort of adds up to how much the clock is that i got for jamie i'm happy with what i've got here even though i don't know if he'll use or like any of this i just find it so difficult to buy for my dad you see but these look like they might be helpful so i'm gonna get them so the next person that i'm going to be buying for is my little brother christian and christian is 13 but my little brother has severe learning difficulties and his understanding level is more at the age of a toddler so i sort of know the things that christian likes he's quite particular in the sort of things that he likes he likes dvds he likes playing cards. I know that he likes dinosaurs so maybe we can look up dinosaurs and see if we can find anything dinosaur themed. He loves Peppa Pig, he loves anything by Justin Fletcher, Justin's House, Giggle Biz, Mr Tumble but I'm not sure if I'll get anything like that on Timu. Cocomelon, I've already had a look for Cocomelon items on Timu. I haven't seen anything so I don't think we're gonna have any luck there but dinosaurs seems to be the best bet here so let's search up dinosaurs and see what we can <gasps> that is the cutest thing I have ever seen in my life it's out of stock are you joking oh no he would have loved that as well I wonder if we can find something similar dinosaur plush let's see ah oh, there it is there that is the cutest thing. It's got like his own egg that he can zip it in. He's, he'll love that. He'll think that's well cute. Mm, 15 99 That is the most expensive thing that we've looked at so far. I'm going to add it to my basket. Oh my goodness. I haven't got much left. 
I might have to go back and chuck something out my basket. Okay, the last person that I'm going to buy for, I've le left the easiest person to buy for till last, which is my mum. And the reason why my mum is so easy to buy for is because I know my mum the best and <laughs> because we talk to each other every single day. Well, I talk to my whole family every single day, but my mum talks to each other 24 seven. I'm surprised she isn't even in the room with me right now talking to me. <laughs> but yeah, I talk to my mum the most. I sort of know everything that she likes. So I sort of know what sort of things I'll be looking for for her, but we've only got like nine pounds to spend. And I'm thinking of chucking something from my basket that I got for my dad and I'm thinking that I'm going to get rid of the durable 10 in 1 stainless steel camping tool. That's just something that I came across first hand and now we've actually got some really good ones with the lantern and the knife scraper for the 3D printing so I, I don't think we need that anymore. So how much does that give us? That gives us about £11 to work with so we're going to have a look for something for my mum. So like I said before my mum is really easy to buy for. My mum loves anything butterfly pattern, cat pattern, she loves lights for indoors and outdoors, she loves her solar lanterns and stuff like that. She also loves birds, she loves feeding our birds, she loves robins. So the first thing that I want to have a look at is lights, indoor lights, because if you remember from my last Timu haul, if you've watched it, it's also another Christmas one, I'll link it up here if you want to go and have a look. I got a Christmas light which is actually right next to me right now because I'm meant to bring it downstairs to put in the family room because mum really loved it and I'll insert a picture of what it looks like here but it's basically this it's like a it's like a little globe thing and she loved it so i'm thinking of having a look and seeing if i could find something similar to that that's not christmas thing that's just like in general it would be really nice if it was something with a butterfly or a cabinet so let's go oh that's so cute one piece 3d laser oh and it's got butterflies in it as well it's a cat and it's got butterflies and it's a globe does it light up or is it just like a crystal ball thing I think it's just a crystal ball thing, I don't think it lights up, so I'm not really sure about that because it doesn't really light up, so, um, oh, I took the last one because it's out of stock now. Yeah, I'm not really sure because it doesn't light up, it's more just like a statue, yeah, it says statue crystal ball, but we'll keep it in there just in case we don't see anything else. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that's lovely. That's really, really nice, but it's they're way, way over our budget, look at that. $13.99. Mm, that is quite over our budget. I think if I was to get that, I'd have to chuck something of my dad's out of the basket or look for something cheaper for my brother. And maybe I might have to get something cheaper for my brother. We might have to go back to Christian and find something a bit cheaper so I can get something nice for my mum. Yeah, I don't want to just get like any old thing for any of my family members. I just want them, I want them to be an actual thoughtful gift. So we are actually looking for things that I know that they'll like and use. So anyways, let's move on to my cat. So let's look at cat toys because cat toys are the best bet. Catnip ball, I would not want to get that for her because she would go crazy. Oh my god, that is a very realistic looking mouse. Let me have a look. Oh my gosh, if there was a brown one, she would go absolutely crazy because there was a brown one in our garden that she was obsessed with at some point. Oh my god. I wonder if I can find that because <laughs> she'd love that for sure. Oh, I'm going to see if I can find that really realistic looking mouse because she'll go absolutely bonkers let me have a look which one am i getting oh you just get like a random color to be honest it doesn't really matter so i think i'm gonna get her that so let's see how we're doing here okay i feel like the one that i need to rethink is the dinosaur also i just noticed is that just the dinosaur because it's just got a picture of the dinosaur like without the egg so maybe i do need to have a look Let's put dinosaur again and see what comes up. I was gonna see if I can find clothes. Let me do it. dinosaur top, men's top. If I get it in my size, it will fit in. So if I put women's actually in, and I'll get in the women's top. Don't, oh, I am not gonna get that top. <laughs> That's not very kid friendly. If I put plus size actually in, plus size. Cause he loves clothes as well. So I don't think I can go wrong with getting like, a piece of clothing 
Oh, that's cute. That's like a lounge set as well. Oh, he's better with shorts at bedtime, to be honest, though. Maybe I should get him this. Thing is, with these sorts of, like, clothing, you can't tell what the material is going to be like because he's not good with certain materials. I'll add that to my basket anyways. I feel like he loves like cutesy clothing like with the dinosaur patterns and everything like this, like on the women's clothing, because they try to make men's clothing look so manly and he's not really that bad. He likes bright colors, so yeah, I like the look of that lounge set with the shorts. I think he'd love that. It's just the material that I'm worried about, but I do think he'd like the pattern. So I'm thinking of getting him that. Okay, let's look at the basket. I'm going to get rid of the dinosaur because I am thinking right now that that is just the dinosaur. That's not including the egg, which is no good to me at all. So I am going to get rid of that out of my basket. I really want to get that light for my mum. So I'm going to chuck that and I'm going to chuck that. And look, I am in budget. I've got everything for everyone now. I've got my brother's clock. I've got my brother's Batman clock, I've got two things for my dad which I think will be helpful, I've got the light that I wanted to get my mum originally, the cat toy that I wanted to get cosy kit and the lounge set for my brother. So I'm going to get him a size 4XL, he doesn't care that it's women's like lounge set, my mum doesn't care, We none of us care, it's got a cute dinosaur pattern that he'll love, I'm going to get it and he loves clothes, he loves pyjamas, um, I'm just worried about the material but I can't really tell that until it arrives. going to get him a size 4XL because he and I share clothes quite often often so I think he'll be all right with that sort of size so I've got everything that I need I've got the clock for my brother the two things that I got for my dad the lights that I wanted to get for my mum the cat toy that I wanted to get for cozy kit and the lounge set for my brother so I've bought something for everyone with two pound left spare so that is everything that I've got and the next time you'll see me is when I've actually got the stuff and it's all arrived and we'll have a look at it before we wrap them all up for my family so I'll see you guys then Hey guys, welcome back. So all of the Christmas presents have arrived now and I'm going to be doing like a quick review of all of them. Obviously I don't want to open anything up too much because they are Christmas gifts and for some of these I won't be recording reactions because some of my family members aren't comfortable being on camera. So a lot of these will be wrapped up for Christmas day but two of them will be getting proper real life reactions but like I said I do not want to ruin the present <laughs> for anybody. I still want it to be presented as if it's a proper gift. So I'm going to be extremely careful showing you guys all of these gifts. So the first gift we'll be looking at is Jamie's and this is the Batman clock. It's in this pizza shaped box and it is actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. But this is the clock and how cool and detailed does that look? That is such a cool clock and I think he's going to love it. So that's the Batman clock and I'm going to keep it in this pizza box to keep it nice and safe. But yeah, that's a super detailed bit of decor that I think he's gonna love. Next gift is the one that I got for my mum and it is that butterfly solar lantern. Uh, it's gonna be quite difficult to show you guys what the solar lantern actually looks like lit up because for a solar lantern to work, it needs charged up by the sun and it needs to be nighttime as well but if i can i will get a shot of it lit up and dark because my mum will be showing her reaction to this gift so we will be able to see it before christmas but look how cute it is it's such a lovely nice color as well with that bronze and this pattern on here is what's going to be projected onto like the ground so that's going to look really nice as well projected too so isn't that just a lovely lovely gift I think my mum's going to love it. My mum loves solar lamps. She loves anything cutesy, anything that lights up and looks cute, especially if it's got butterflies on it. She will love it. So I know that she's going to like this. I feel like it's something that might shine brighter in the summer. I don't think it's really something for the winter. I do not want to peel this sticker off now either because, like I said, I want to make sure it's still gift-given worthy. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave it as it is, but I am very impressed with it. And it's very good quality as well. It's very well presented it feels very sturdy which i'm really happy about so it will withhold weather outside like windy weather cold rainy weather it feels like it will withstand that so we're now on to my dad's gift and these are the gifts that i sort of don't really understand but they look good and i feel like you might like them anyway but this one's pretty self-explanatory it is a camping rechargeable light i'm just going to open it and just see what is in there so sorry dad if you're watching this i am just opening a present to see if it's all okay so it comes with its own charging lead which is great and this is 
the lantern itself. That's so cute. Yeah, that's a cute little lantern. I think he's going to like that and he's going to get a lot of use out of it. It's just a cute little lantern that's perfect if you like camping or you go camping a lot. And also another great thing about it is that it actually comes with a charging lead as well, which is fabulous. Oh, it's got instructions in there as well. It's got an instruction manual. That's always good too. And this one, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> no clue at all. I did ask my brother Jamie what this actually does and this is for 3D printing by the way. When you 3D print there's like a lot of support to keep the print up and this is to help fish any of that support out. So like these little attachments and everything they attach onto this thing that's in here. Let's have a look and see what it looks like I suppose but honestly I don't know what I'm looking for here. Well it looks like a tool to me. It's already got one of the um, attachments on it and these are like different size attachments. They all look the same to me. I don't know if, if that's good or bad. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it looked useful and it said that it was for 3D printing. I don't recall ever seeing him with one of these so I do feel like it might be something that's useful to him. So let's hope so. <laughs> and on to the next item which was for my little brother i got him this lounge set and this is actually in my size so i could possibly try this on for you guys but i don't think i will because like i said i want to make sure these are in gift given condition christian will not be doing a reaction to this gift on camera because he just does not have the attention span to sit in front of my camera and watch me mess up a load of times so <laughs> i'm sorry you probably won't be getting that but this is what the lounge set looks like stretchy and elastic -y. it's got the cutest pattern ever in the world this is the top as well it looks quite roomy i am a little bit worried about the fabric though because it's got that like uh, i'm not really sure what to call it is it like it's polyester isn't it anything with a little bit of elastic stain in it with polyester has such a sweaty material and he just doesn't get on with materials like this but that's just for bedtime so he could wear this as like loungewear during the day we'll see how it goes with this but it has the cutest pattern ever and i know he's gonna love it for the pattern so i think he'll still be grateful for it anyways and this is the last gift which I got for my cat, Cozy. And I'm just going to carefully open it and make sure I put it back so it looks gift giveable. Oh! Okay. I hadn't even turned it at that point. But basically, you turn this. And then it's tail wags. Look at that. That's, that's kind of cool. You get a random colour. Um, Still moving you get a random color and i'm glad that it was this color because i feel like if i got like a lighter color i don't think she'd be interested but this looks scarily like the mouse that she tries to get in the garden so i feel like she might like this and also it reminds me a lot of zuzu pets if anybody like my age it's like sort of an early 2000s toy uh, zuzu pets it was a lot like this except they were like hamsters you would wind them up like this and they'd like run across the carpet or you'd have like these hamster wheels and stuff like that to go with it too i was obsessed with zuzu pets i had them for years obviously i grew out of them but this really reminds me of the times when i had zuzu pets so this is kind of nostalgic for me as well but i think she's gonna like this because anything that moves fast and looks like a mouse she's gonna love it so that is the gifts that i got for everybody i am actually really impressed with every single one of these i am a little bit disappointed on the material on the lounge set though for christian because i'm not sure if he'll agree with it but apart from that i liked everything and considering we were on a 50 pound budget and all of this together cost like 48 pounds i'm really impressed with everything everything turned out pretty good and i feel like everybody's gonna like their gifts so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap everything up in gift wrapping, make it look pretty for everybody, and we're going to get some reactions. But first we need to do the gift wrapping. Hello guys, so we're going to do the gift wrapping part of this video. I've got all of the presents here, I've got all of the things that I need to wrap up the presents. So let's go. I won't be talking throughout this because I do kind of get in the zone when, when I do Christmas wrapping. So enjoy some festive music and just watch me wrap these Christmas presents. I'm really excited because I haven't done much Christmas wrapping yet. I usually do that closer to Christmas. I am pretty excited. I've got all the ribbon here. This ribbon in this bag here is actually the Christmas ribbon that we used for the presents last year. So I am a recycling girly. 
and these labels are new so I thought I'd use these I got these from actually I probably shouldn't say where I got these from because this is a sponsored video so Abby no anyways let's get right to it let's go <laughs> As you can tell, I am no expert wrapping at all, but I really enjoy it, so. And also, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> like, when I put the ribbon on it, it sort of like, does this a little bit at the top there, you see what I mean? It sort of bunches up. So I try not to make the wrapping paper like too loose on it. So I sort of like turn the edges in if it does kind of get loose. I like the present to be aesthetic. But I sort of force it to be aesthetic, if you know what I mean. <laughs> One thing about Christian's gift is that I will not put any ribbons or anything like that on it because otherwise he finds it difficult to open. So I'm just going to put wrapping paper on this one and maybe put on like a stick on ribbon. I can't do any of this stuff because otherwise it's just too difficult to open. And you know when you're a kid you just want to get your presents open, don't you? You don't want to faff around with ribbons. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do for Christian's present. clothes is that you have to be careful with the scissors like if you do like what I do which is like when you fold the corners and it's too big I, I cut the ends off because otherwise you sort of risk cutting through the clothes and I, I don't think that's ever happened to me but I've heard it happen to other people and I really don't want it to happen to me <laughs> so be careful when wrapping up clothes as to not cut through the clothes speeding it up because my camera is out of charge and it's about to run out of charge. I'm here 
here with my brother and I'm going to give him the gift that I got from Timu. So Jamie, well it's not exactly a secret, um, my whole family know that I've done a collaboration with Timu and I had a £50 budget to get you all gifts and <laughs> this was one of the gifts that I got and it's for you. Thank you Abby. That's right. Where shall I start? Anywhere. I'll start with the bow. Yeah, I wanted Abby's them. always got to do both. <laughs> yeah, I wanted them to look nice for you. It's a box. <laughs> <laughs> I got him an empty box from Timu. Oh, made in China. You've got all your usual UKCA marks, so it's got electronics. It says King Live. King Live. What? What's King Live? Look at that. I love that. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, look at that's a Batman claw. <laughs> I thought you'd like it. They have tons of Batman stuff on there, and I was just looking for everything. I wanted to get you some decor for your oh, room. It needs a battery. Battery's not included. <laughs> I'll get a battery in that, and I'll set that up, and then I'll hang that up in my room. Yeah. Ah, oh, that'd be lovely. Early Christmas present for you. It's currently it's the nineteenth today, so <laughs> it's not exactly Christmas, but I wanted to uh, do the reactions for you guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm glad you like your Batman clock. I love Batman. We've yeah. been playing Batman. We like Batman. Yeah, we do love Batman. Jamie loves He's Batman nice. a lot more than me. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> say bye to everyone. Say Merry Christmas to everyone, actually. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, everybody, from Jamie. And this is the first ever, like, collab, I guess, <laughs> that I've done on my channel. So here we are. Here's to Jamie. I'm not, I'm not exactly a big... A big name to collab with. It's a start. Eh? <laughs> yeah, you met a fellow drinkle. Hello everyone, so this is my mum and she's Hello. here to do a reaction and I've been doing a Timu £50 budget so all these presents that I got for the family uh, have been under £50. Uh, so this is your one. Can open, I open it? it? Yeah, you can open it. <laughs> Abby always does lovely packaging, don't you? Oh, wrapping it up lovely. <laughs> I love doing bows. Christmas morning takes a long time in my house. <laughs> Plus we use, reuse everything. Yeah, all of these are from last year. Ooh, I like this paper. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? It's like oh, Christmas jumping. Oh, turn from Abby. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> kiss, kiss. <laughs> I'm out on the glasses. How do I get in this way? Yeah, it's got one of those tabs. Ooh. Oh, this looks nice. <gasps> wow, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. It's with butterflies. My favourite for the garden. Yeah, it's for the garden. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, wow. Well, that's going to be so pretty, isn't it? It, is, it projects the pattern on the floor, like on the path. Oh, we'll put it on Mar in Mar around in Martha's garden. It'll look absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Mm. I love you. <laughs> Don't make me cry. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Mm, thank you very much. That's all right. I've seen it. Oh my god, I've got those Because I've got something really expensive for Christmas. Well, you know what I got for Christian? Obviously, mm. Mum knows everything. <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, I got something quite expensive for Christian, but then oh, I wow. seen that and I really had to make room in the um, basket oh, for it's it. It's beautiful. Look at the <laughs> solar panel. It's gorgeous. It really is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Hang up, we'll put it in the garden. It's we love nice. our solar stuff, don't we? Yeah. And we love our butterflies. I can hear your voice going. <laughs> Thank you so much, I oh. love it, I do. Oh, oh. glad you do. I'll sit with my cup of tea at night and be able to watch that, it'll be lovely. It'll be nice, yeah. Well, good choice. Yeah, I'm glad you like it, I <laughs> thought you would, I really did. Because I, I struggled a little bit with trying to get you something off of Timu because it, it was just, all the solar lights just didn't look that is beautiful though. Yeah. And it really will be colourful, won't it? And throw the light out. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. I want to go put it out. Well, we won't get much. <laughs> well, I not said much that. sun at this time. I, uh, in the review, I was like, it's going well, to be more of a summer thing. We might I think. have to wait a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially at the moment. <laughs> I'm glad you like your gift. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I do. Thank you so much. That's yeah. lovely. Oh, I'm glad you like oh, it. Silly. Oh, oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I say Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a lovely time. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everybody. And. Welcome my mum onto my mm. channel. It's the first time mum's been on my channel, so YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> any of my mm. family. <laughs> Bye!
Bye. So that is everything that I've got to show you guys from Timu today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed making today's video because it was a little bit different to my normal ones and it was just so fun and festive. So I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up because it really does help out my YouTube channel. And if you're into creative makeup and plus size fashion, then remember to subscribe to my channel because that is everything that I do here. If you like the look of anything that I showed you in today's video, I'll put links to everything in the description box below for you guys. And if you want to get a discount off your order or if you want to get a £100 voucher if you're a new user at Timu, then use my code which will be on the screen for you guys right now or there'll be a link that you can click in my description box as well that will take you to that page. If you want to check me out on any of my other social medias, there'll be a link to my link tree in the caption below for you guys as well that has links to all of those including my snapchat facebook and instagram thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting my youtube channel i hope you have the best christmas ever and i'll see you guys in the next one bye